So today I'm going to be going through my work planner setup. I've actually been using this planner for quite a long time now, like over a year, but I've never shared it before because I've always had stuff in there which isn't shareable. But recently I revamped, I reprinted, I kind of just cleaned things up a bit. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to share this planner setup. I just thought I'd mention that anything I share in this video, I will leave link below. Um, if I can find a link obviously if it's not linkable then I'll say that it's not linkable so the planner itself is an A5 yellow doki book the style of this planner is very similar to the Filofax Safianos the texture of the planner and the closure and stuff is pretty much identical to the Safianos I think the only difference is that the doki book is a bit slimmer this is one of the planners which I use and I'm not worried about whether it gets scuffed or scratched it hasn't really scratched at all saying that it's more just kind of got marks on like from where it's been on my desk and stuff but yeah as far as like denting and everything goes I think these sorts of planners with this texture are one of the best ones for not showing up scratches so yeah the planner itself I can definitely recommend it's the only A5 planner that I've really kind of kept with because I like the size of it it fits A5 papers in pretty perfectly there's no like overhang space or anything I know with Kiki K's they are a bit wider so you have like an overhang space so I use this planner for my jewellery shop, I use it for Cloudy Cow, I use it for YouTube. I do still like to keep it fun even though it's a work planner. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what's in the pockets. I've only recently got these and I absolutely love using them. They are one of the best magnetic clips for planners and stuff that I've found. They're super duper strong. You could clip together a nice little wedge of papers in a planner and it would hold them just fine. So yeah, this is the larger size and this is the smaller size and then I've got a couple of smaller ones down here too. I have some spare bits of memo paper, I have some customs forms, I have more memo sheets. I have this flamingo clip which kind of just goes with the colours, it's just there to look pretty. But this is from Ladybug on a Pug who doesn't ship to the UK anymore but if you're from the US then definitely have a look at her shop because I absolutely love her clips. They are really good quality and she makes them from glitter vinyl which is just so pretty. I have my Days of My Jewelry business cards, I have my Cloudy Cow business cards, I have some brands business cards in here. I I have some little notes and stuff from brands and at the back I have the Royal Mail price guide for whatever reason if the internet is down or I can't access it online then I have all the prices to send stuff somewhere else because I do like to check how much things will be before I get to the post office just so I can bring enough money and then I can kind of be prepared because I do send a lot of packages at once with all my shops and stuff so yeah that is pretty much what is in the front pockets I also have a pen in this pen loop and this is just my Snoopy Coletto pen and in here I have an orange refill, I have a black one, a green one and a pink one. I think the black one's actually run out so I need to change that but if I don't use this pen then I use one of these ones which is from my shop and it's just one of the ones which is black gel ink. When it comes to planning I definitely prefer using gel ink, not sure why that's just my go-to type of pen. I'm gonna have to keep this at an angle so I don't get the glare from my light on these because these are laminated. The dividers I made myself and and I just have one for Daisy My Jewelry, one for Cloudy Cow, I have one for YouTube and then I have one which says other. Those are my tabs going down the side. I have a couple more tabs within the YouTube one. I'll get to them when I go through it. At the top I have three dividers which all say accounts and that is the accounts section of each of my self-employment things. Because I'm obviously self-employed I have to do my own accounts and stuff so to keep things organised I tend to do accounts within each separate thing. My jewellery shop is actually the first thing I ever did with my self-employment and I still absolutely love doing it. So in here I just have some inserts that I designed and I use these to document when I've sent out jewellery to bloggers and Instagrammers to be reviewed and everything because funny enough sometimes when you send stuff out to bloggers they don't necessarily always follow through with it. So by having things like this documented I can make sure that I don't work with them again in the future and if I need to email reminders to people then I know when I sent things. So in these little charts I have have names, so that's like the name of the blogger or Instagrammer. I have the items I sent them, I have their Instagram or blog name. I have some boxes that I can tick when I've packed it up and sent it. Then I have a couple of other ones which are for when the blogger or Instagrammer has received it and also when they've completed their side of the job. So I can keep track of all those things, I know exactly what I've sent, I know when I've sent it and stuff like that. I then have my account section which is the same in every single divider. So I have the exact same sheets, I just write at 
the top what the month is and which section it is. So I'll write Daisy May or Cloudy Cow or YouTube. But yeah, on these sheets I just have date, I have shop or where I bought it, and then I have like the price or how much I paid. So this basically just keeps track of my expenses. I then have my Cloudy Cow tab, and in here the main thing I keep is my sheets which have all my washi suppliers on obviously i'm not going to share that with you guys but basically i have a sheet where i can put a sample of the washi where it's from and the number because usually suppliers sell thousands and thousands of different designs so if i need to restock one washi tape i don't really want to be searching through thousands of other washi tapes so i write down the number so i can easily find it on the website but yeah other than those sheets i also have these ones which are for bulk orders so every now and again i do get subscription boxes and stuff ask if I want to make a load of charms or something like planner charms or something like that for the subscription box so it tends to be a bulk order and for those orders I have these sheets which just have the shop it has the date I put the contact info and the project info and then I have a box for sent and received so I know when I sent it and I also know when they received it so if I get a bulk order it obviously doesn't come through the website so I don't have it tracked down anywhere this is why I put it in here so it's kind of like having my order somewhere so I can look back and reference it and then again I have the accounts tab with the same sheets in I then have my divider for YouTube and on the front of this divider I've cut down and punched a load of the invites and little notes and stuff that I've got from brands so I have something which came in the goodie bag for the back to school press release for paper chase when we went to that in London I have a postcard which came with the first ever Pipsticks pack I received as you guys know I still work with Pipsticks now I absolutely love their company I think they're such a brilliant brilliant subscription service so it's just nice to have it somewhere like a little reminder of this is where it started this one was from odear.com and this has a handwritten message on the back and this was when they sent me my first paper gang box and then this was from the caroline gardner christmas in july event that we went to and that again was in london it was a really nice day but yeah it's just really nice to have those in there when i open my youtube tab it takes me straight to my monthly overview this is my december spread and these are from i think it's from filofaxi online i'll obviously find a link to these they're free downloads but yeah we are obviously on november which i have all decorated and pretty on that side but i obviously don't want to show that because it has all my video plans and stuff for the next couple of weeks i then have my accounts tab which again has the same sheets in and then in here i have two extra tabs which are teams and plans so in the teams tab which i'm not going to show you because the only things in there are stuff which i can't show you but in there i just have a load of inserts similar to these really like just tables which keep track of things like the design teams i'm on so i'm actually only on the mrs brimble's one at the moment but in there i also keep track of things Things which I unbox and stuff on a monthly basis so things like my pipstick pack and the lollipop box I keep track of those in there as well I then have this one which is plans and in here I keep track of things that I've been sent by brands and stuff to review and share on my channel so I've put together these charts which just have name and product I have a big section for product info and stuff I then have a little table below which just has the platform that I shared it the date I featured it and any other information that I need to add with my youtube channel I only ever accept items and products and stuff that I genuinely want to try out or want to review. If I don't think I'll use it or like it then I just say no because there's no point taking on something that I'm not going to be able to use properly. So when I do take on stuff I like to make sure that I have it all documented and I'm able to keep track of everything. So yeah that's everything that's in that section. I just have a load of those sheets. I then have this divider which is just other and in here I keep a spare ruler. And I also have this which is actually a really old image info sheet like laminated information with my personal information on and it used to be at the front of one of my old a5 planners and this is here because usually when i close my planner the pages will like will all curve around the rings i don't know if i'm explaining that right but if you have an a5 planner or a personal size planner i suppose i'm pretty sure you'll understand what i'm talking about when you close a planner and it all kind of tucks around the corner and it bends all your pages and stuff so by having that there it kind of helps push all the pages forward and they all sit straight in my planner i'm not sure how well it will work with other planners but for my doki book it has worked well so that's that's what i use that for and the pocket back here i don't have anything in and i don't have anything in this pen loop either so yeah that is my work planner i hope you've enjoyed seeing my planner set up if you're self-employed it might have given you some ideas of how to set up your planner i did find that designing and printing my own inserts has helped but yeah let me know below if you have any questions and i'll do my best to get back to you thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video